Do you have a difficult time getting along with vendors? I mean, I hear a lot of guys talk about having complaints with how the photographer did this and made our job more difficult, how the caterer did that, and oh my gosh, don't they just know this stuff? And I understand that, but do you hear yourself? <laughs> Hi, this is Bill. This is Creative License, and uh, thanks again for being a part of the show. Thanks again uh, for being nice to my sponsors. If you get a chance to check out some Electro Voice speakers or microphones, do that. I use them. They're the best. Uh, the EV of all 50s, I still think, are the best wedding DJ uh, speakers out there uh, and really good for a lot of different kinds of events. Uh, DJ Event Planner, which is a great CRM. Uh, DJ NTV, which is, of course, DJ NTV. You know, you get great stuff from DJ and TV. If you haven't signed up yet for their insider page, you better do that because there's something extraordinary about what goes on over there. And of course, uh, promo only. Promo only being the best record uh, music service out there for those of us that are DJing, no matter what kind of DJ you are and what kind of shows you do. So uh, anyway, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, there you go. That's I remember. I remember now. <laughs> what I was talking about is uh, not getting along with vendors, okay? Because we know better. Because if they do their job poorly and don't take us into consideration, then things don't go well. Like the photographer who all of a sudden takes the bride and groom out of the building to go get a sunset shot because they think a sunset shot is that's the greatest thing ever, okay? But they didn't talk to us about it. And we were about to introduce the first dance or the speeches. Now we're starting to lose the crowd. Or about the caterer who wants you to, to do the speeches at a time when the speeches aren't supposed to be happening, okay? Or they put the dance floor in the wrong place because the dance floor doesn't work that well. We complain about this stuff all the time because we think we're right. And probably you are, okay? When it comes to what you do and how you're going to provide for your clients, you're probably right. You probably know more about that than anybody else. But here's the problem. Just because you're right doesn't mean you're getting it right, okay? There are all these vendors coming together, hired by the bride and groom or by the corporate client or whoever, to be sure that what is going to happen is going to go the way they hope it's going to go, okay? And every one of these vendors has an expertise around making sure that their job and their product show up in the best possible light for the client, that show up the way the client exactly wants. So for us to think that we're right and they're wrong, when we have zero idea about what the client really must have in mind is pretty arrogant, really. I mean, you haven't talked to the photographer or you would probably know that the bride and groom were the ones who said they wanted to have this sunset photograph and you didn't talk to the photographer or the bride and groom about this so you didn't find out that this is the time that the sun goes down and when the photography has to happen so you could have avoided it by helping to change the timeline around it. But you didn't do that, did you? You just got mad because they think they are better than us. They think what they have to do is more important than mine. That's just not true. It's just not true. You are not the only thing there that they're paying for. Even the wedding where I did, uh, where I was the DJ and the only thing they did for the meal was pizza at a pavilion like the one you're, I'm sitting in right here. Okay, That's what they did. They ordered pizza at 8 o'clock for dinner. That's what they did. I was the thing they spent all their money on. The city didn't charge very much for the pavilion they were in. But for me to be arrogant enough to think that what I'm going to do will be the only thing that matters when it comes to the success of this event, over and above the food they are going to have delivered and when they're going to have it delivered and if they're going to want to sit down and eat and when the dessert's going to happen and when mom and dad are going to be there, all those things have to come together. So, does you, so do you and the planner Oh, I know we have a problem with planners, but the planner is doing a lot of work here and trying to make sure that what the bride said she wanted, she gets. So she's the advocate, right? So if you're not talking to her, then all you're doing is complaining on the day of and you're fighting with those people on the day of and that is bad for you. Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're right or not. What matters is that you get it right. So I would suggest that you take on that brand new way of th seeing things. The idea of not being right, but getting things right. Because you can be right about how you can do things, but once new things are thrown into the pot, like what time the photographer needs to do their photography, what time the meal has to be, what time they can actually pour the champagne and how long it takes, 
All of those things matter to how you can now deliver what you do. You can still deliver on a powerful way if you know ahead of time that these things are going to happen. If you can collaborate with these, these other vendors in a way that makes them look as good as you so that it gets done right. So that what happens is exactly what the client wants and not just you at the end of the day saying, could have told you, I was right, they were wrong. That doesn't help you, doesn't help the client, and it makes you look awful. So I suggest once again that you take this on, write it down someplace. It's not as important to be right as it is to get it right. What do you think of this? I'm Bill, this is Creative License, and I'll see you next time.